eyes see art. Not focused. Look at that. Perfect segue to art, actually, and how when you're going from something like Greek to Roman art, there was a huge shift. I like changes in art, and I like talking about art in general and the shifts. Um, generally, because you don't really see it as as it's happening, and then when it shifts you sort of understand what the philosophy of the time was or what the philosophy of the artists of the time was, what the general feel was. And so that's just what I want to talk about is how in the Greek periods when they would make sculptures, uh, they were very idealistic. They would emphasize perfections in man and the people that they sculpted. And then when it shifted to Roman sculptures, they would focus on the imperfections and they would make sure that they were depicting accuracy rather than flawlessness, which is very interesting to me. Uh, something else that I like talking about is artists like Henry Tanner, who made beautiful art and made sweeping strides and strokes, if you will uh, forgive the pun, in art and its development and how he was almost an impressionist way ahead of his time in the 1800s and 1900s. Would you look at that? This is quite the hotel that I'm in. Quite the, quite the work of art. Uh, it's my brother's girlfriend's family. They have connections, and that's why I'm here. It's a lot to explain. You know what's funny, though? Even though they have connections, I uh, went up to a restaurant that's in this hotel. Yes, this restaurant has a hotel. I asked about the chips and salsa, <laughs> and a guy just pointed to a seat, and he was like, Oh, uh, you know what? Somebody, they called in earlier, but they had to cancel. And so you can just take this, just have this. You don't have to pay. Just sit down somewhere and, and eat. And, uh, and he told me that. Um, and so now I'm sort of wondering if I look homeless. Uh, but I don't know, I, maybe it does make sense. I'm a young boy just walking around a hotel and looking for food. And so he just gave me a free meal, especially since it was already cooked. Kind of funny. Anyway, uh, Henry Tanner, was a man who decided to make art in the 1800s and 1900s, and he was very successful, made great strides in progressing art, even though he was black. And he managed to, to, to forge his own path, and he even ended up moving to Europe, uh, I guess because America was too racist for him. That's actually the truth. He actually moved there because America uh, was too racist. Uh, this is a nice little city skyline. Not really. It's just an airport. I'm not going to go outside because it's kind of loud out there because we're right next to an airport. Uh, and so I just wanted to talk about changes in art and its history. Uh, Henry Tanner, though, was very interesting. If you look up the banjo lesson by Henry Tanner, that's quite the art painting. It has a lot of purple in it. Well, it has some purple in it, which is kind of hard to imagine if you actually look at the painting. Um, but just just a master of, of shading and art. There, I said it again for the 16th time. So, yeah, that's all. Happy Ray Wednesday. Uh, I guess this is, you know, just a Wednesday vlog, and it's also the Ray. You get both. You're welcome, and goodbye.